This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 837. Five Overlooked Training Tips for Glorious Glutes by Ashley Cast with RomanFitnessSystems.com and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey, welcome to October and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I simply read to you every weekday for free. It's kind of like an audiobook, but from many different authors. And then on Fridays, I answer the questions that you've sent me. And a big thanks to Iconic, where you can find designer eyewear and contact lenses at the best price. I ordered a pair through Iconic, and this is my favorite pair ever. And the easiest ordering process too, with a really cool try-on tool that I've never seen anywhere before. I'll share more about that after today's reading. Visit Iconic.com slash OHD. That's E-Y-E-C-O-N-I-C dot com slash OHD to shop for name brand glasses, contacts, and sunglasses. And save money by using the code OHD to get 10% off your entire order. Wow, so it's already October. And you know, in my mind, what that means, the holidays are just around the corner, which is my favorite time of year. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. My family gets frustrated with me when I start thinking about Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's well before Halloween has set in. So I won't go there just right now. I will tame my excitement as we get to today's post and start optimizing your life. Five Overlooked Training Tips for Glorious Glutes by Ashley Cast with RomanFitnessSystems.com Glutes are in vogue right now. There's no denying that. Whether it's the Kardashian effect, an increase in the desire for athletic bodies, or an acceptance and appreciation for other body types, the results are in. People want bigger butts. As a New York City trainer to everyone from youth athletes to world-famous actors, let me assure you that these days, most of my clients want a big round booty capped by some glorious glutes. This is fantastic, because not only does it mean that society is changing in a way that pulls further from the once common marginalization of the beautiful curvy figures typically associated with non-white women, it's also a step towards appreciating the athleticism that a big booty brings. Because truly, having a big butt is not just about how you look in a pair of leggings, it's also about what you can do with it. The glutes are the largest and strongest muscle group in the body and the keystone of the posterior chain. They generate massive force in any exercise that involves hip extension, which includes the squat, deadlift, and any form of running and jumping. All of which is to say, whether you want to be sexy or strong or sporty, a big butt is going to help you get there. Since the trend is toward building a bigger posterior, glute training programs are not hard to find, nor are the lists of the best butt exercises around. And while those are all well and good, it's not enough to just use the best exercises or even to use a great program that features all the right moves. If you want glutes of glory, you'll need to drill and practice. But here's the key. It's not all about the program or the volume. In order to get maximum productivity from any glute training program, or indeed any training session, you've got to make sure of a few things. Are you using the right exercises for your body? Are your glutes doing the work or is something else compensating? Are you preparing the corresponding muscles properly? These are important factors and if addressed correctly, will allow for maximizing the recruitment of the glutes and the productivity of the training session. If you take care of these things, everything else falls into place. I'm gonna share with you my top five tips to make your glute training more effective and productive. These can be implemented immediately and are equally effective no matter what program you're currently using. For building big, strong glutes of glory, you need to check these out. One, pay attention to your feet. If you do not maintain an arch in your foot, you will find your glutes fire suboptimally. Some will say this problem is glute amnesia. I like to refer to it as lazy feet. If you don't maintain an arch when you're working on otherwise great glute building exercises like deadlifts or squats, you won't fully activate the glute max. Your glute max is the biggest, most powerful butt muscle you've got back there and certainly one you want turned on during any exercise. Tip, in bare feet, Find all four corners of the floor with your feet. While maintaining the arch you've created, try to pull the floor apart in your squat pattern, emphasizing the base of the big toe. Two, 
stretch and activate your hip flexors before training. When you sit or wear heels all day, the hips can end up very rotated in response to the stress. In turn, the hip flexors can get very tight and weak. Many of the best butt building exercises like squats and deadlifts require a certain amount of hip flexor strength for you to successfully pull your hips into flexion. So a good deep hip flexor stretch followed by some kind of challenge is ideal. Tip, try a half kneeling hip flexor stretch and follow it up with a quick hurdle hold exercise. Three, train half kneeling positions. If you've got chronically tight hamstrings, like you cannot touch your toes or your lower back is tight after runs, the timing of your hips could be off. Half kneeling positions help correct this issue in the long run, but they also require you to squeeze your glutes in order to stay balanced. You can row, press, chop, and push, all with one knee down. Four, maintain good posture all day, including during your lifts. The term good posture is very relative and very individual. It reflects strengths, weaknesses, fatigue, stress, and confidence level. So the best posture cue is really to just create as much space between your joints as possible. When you do so, your joints are in the most optimal positions for you to be successful at whatever exercise you're doing. Tip, while standing with feet hip width apart, make sure your tailbone is pointing down towards the floor and grind your heels into the floor as you elongate through the crown of your head. Apply this to all of your resisted movements. Five, balance your strengths. If posture reflects strengths and weaknesses, you can positively affect it by getting your muscles into better balance. And for most people, that means training the posterior line a bit more. That includes the calves, hamstrings, glutes, and back. All of these muscles are connected along the posterior chain they usually need a little more attention than their anterior counterparts to keep the body in balance. Tip, add more Romanian deadlifts to target the hamstrings, even if you already have regular concentric deadlifts in your program. Wrapping up, the rest of your body has a much bigger influence on your glutes than you might imagine, and you'll notice that maintaining an arch in your foot allows you to maintain better stability in your lunge, that you resist the compression forces in your back squat by lengthening your spine, and that a few minutes spent on your hip flexors is going to allow you to use your butt on bench day. You'll be able to apply these concepts in a number of ways. You'll be prepared to get a whole lot better at all of your movements. You want glutes of glory? Well, child, you best listen to your reigning glute monarch to get to the promised land. You just listened to the post titled Five Overlooked Training Tips for Glorious Glutes by Ashley Cast with RomanFitnessSystems.com. And thanks again to our friends at Iconic. The right pair of prescription glasses or sunglasses is a quick way to switch up your style. If you're looking for contact lenses, you'll find them at Iconic too. I ordered a pair of glasses and loved the entire process. It's my favorite pair ever. I used Iconic's try-on tool to see how the glasses looked on me before ordering and it worked perfectly. The glasses I got were exactly as expected and arrived fast in a beautiful case. I'm definitely getting my next pair from Iconic and highly recommend them. So visit iconic.com slash OHD. That's E-Y-E-C-O-N-I-C dot com slash OHD to shop for quality glasses, contacts, and sunglasses. And save up to $220 with your vision insurance. Don't have insurance? Use code OHD to get 10% off your entire order. Iconic is looking out for your eyes. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. The author Ashley is so right that the glutes are quite powerful and we often forget how powerful they can be, especially when we think about working some of the other vanity muscles like the quads and the hamstrings. And I really liked Ashley's posture tips, something that you can do that's really easy that will help you think about your posture and probably align your posture really quickly is to simply think about your arms and think about your hands next to your sides. So if we imagine our arms at our sides, imagine where our thumbs are pointed. Usually in a relaxed position, our thumbs face our bodies, meaning they basically face our legs. Now think about rotating the wrist and turning the thumbs so that they face forward. Just by doing that, rotating your thumbs forward so that they face front what'll likely happen is it's automatically gonna 
force you to bring your shoulders back and down instead of shrugging your shoulders and force you to stand up straight. It's amazing how just rotating your thumbs forward all of a sudden keeps your shoulders back and down and it makes you want to stand up straight or sit up straight. So that's definitely one thing you can do. And if you want to maintain good posture or improve your posture, Ashley is absolutely right. Training your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back is super important. We often spend so much time thinking about making sure our biceps and our chest look good and our quads look good, but that's going to create an imbalance as Ashley mentioned we want to make sure what she calls the posterior chain, which means all of the stuff located on the backside of your body, we want to make sure those muscles are strong as well. And those will help with your posture. And something that I learned from a PhD who specializes in the posterior chain, when you perform a lift, especially like a deadlift, you can have your toes pointed slightly out, not too far out, make sure they're about shoulder hip width apart, And before you go down to pick up that weight, you want to make sure that your posture is perfect. And what he says to do is imagine you're starting with your tailbone tucked a little bit, which means you're going to have to flex your abs, keep your shoulders down, make fists with your hands, and rest your hands on your quads. So in this position, your abs are flexed, your tailbone is tucked, meaning it's kind of forward, Your hands are resting on your thighs or your quads and you're making fists with them. Then with your feet, imagine you're gonna grip the floor with your feet. You can be wearing shoes, that's absolutely fine, but imagine you're gripping the floor with your feet. So when all of this is set, you slowly start to squat down and your hands, which should be fists, should glide down your quads and head toward your knees as you go down to grab the weight. And that's how you can maintain good posture when doing a complicated lift like a deadlift. All right, that'll do it for me for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.